Hello and welcome to Less Code Hub. In today's video, we're going to be talking about integrating Power Apps environment variables to Microsoft Azure Key Vault. This option is handy when you want to store sensitive data securely. Such data could be API keys, user credentials, health related data, etc. I will show you how to get Sign Now, cloud based provider of electronic signature technology, API key from Azure Key Vault and use it in the Power Automate flow. First of all, we need to organize Microsoft Azure resources and subscription settings. Let's open Azure Portal and switch on the Microsoft.Power Platform resource provider in your Azure subscription. If this guy is missed you will be faced with the next error, register the Microsoft.Power Platform resource provider in your Azure subscription when running your flow. It's a security measure to make sure that not everyone can create the reference to a secret by guessing the configuration values but to make this a deliberate action. The next thing is to create an Azure Key Vault vault. Consider using a separate vault for every Power Platform environment to minimize the threat in case of a breach. I have already done this step and completed Let's Go Dub test. The user, on the Power Platform side, that is creating the Key Vault secret reference needs to have at least Key Vault Reader, otherwise, the reference cannot be saved and gives an error message, this variable didn't save properly. Could not verify the user permission on Azure Key Vault Path resource. Azure Key Vault must have get secret access policy set for the Dataverse service principle. If it doesn't exist for this vault, add a new access policy. Select Add Access Policy and then select Get as the Access Policy. Next, to select Principal, select None Selected and then search for Dataverse. Select the Dataverse Service Principal with the identity and then select Add. Once added, the Access Policy should look like this. I know it's challenging, but we have almost done with the Microsoft Azure configurations. The last thing is the actual creation of the secret in the Azure Key Vault. Let's open a Secrets menu and click Generate slash Import button. Then you need to name your secret. Please, keep in mind secret names can only contain alphanumeric characters and dashes. Once you copied the key value from the Sign Now portal you can click the Create button in the left bottom corner. You should be satisfied right now because Azure stuff is done. And I will be glad when you hit the like button and leave a comment. Your support is what keeps this channel going. Let's create a new environment variable in the test solution. Open a Power Apps portal, then dive into the test solution and open environmental variables. Let's create our new environment variable and point it to the secret from Key Vault which we created in the previous step. Let's name it My Key 2. Yep, I already have my key. Then choose Secret from the Data Type dropdown. And select Azure Key Vault from the Secret Store dropdown. Now, the most difficult part is that the dropdowns are finalized and you need to manually enter values for all four fields. You get the Azure Subscription ID value from the Subscriptions list, or if you don't have access to it, ask your administrator. Resource Group Name and Azure Key Vault Name could be found on the Key Vault Overview page. Let's copy them. The last one is the name of the secret. Now we are ready to create the variable. If all configurations were properly set you will face no errors. The final step is to get it all to work in the flow. I have a test flow, Azure Key Vault Integration. We can't use these variables directly like others, we need to perform an unbound action for this purpose. Once this is done, select Retrieve Environment Variable Secret Value in the Action Name dropdown and put our environment variable name. The action will call Azure Key Vault API and securely retrieve the value. You can turn on Secure Output to make sure the value of the secret does not show in the run history of the flow. You can simply use the Compose action to test whether the whole process is working properly. Let's run the flow and figure it out. Super, finally it works. 
We finished the practical part, but I also want to point your attention to the pros and cons of this approach. This should help you to make a decision whenever your project needs it. Pros Enhanced security, Azure Key Vault provides a secure and centralized location to store your sensitive information such as passwords, API keys, and other secrets. With Azure Key Vault, you can ensure that your secrets are protected by industry standard security protocols. Centralized management, Azure Key Vault allows you to manage all your secrets from a single location. This means that you can easily create, modify, and revoke access to secrets as needed without having to update each individual workflow that uses them. Cost-effective, Azure Key Vault is a cost-effective solution for storing and managing your secrets. You only pay for what you use, and there are no upfront costs or hardware investments required. Cons Learning curve, if you're new to Azure Key Vault, there may be a bit of a learning curve as you get familiar with the platform and how it works. Permissions management, managing permissions for Azure Key Vault can be complex, especially if you have a large number of secrets and multiple users who need access to them. API limitations, Azure Key Vault has some limitations when it comes to using the API to retrieve secrets. For example, the API limits the number of requests that can be made per second, which can impact performance in high volume environments. Dependency on Azure, since Azure Key Vault is an Azure service, it is dependent on the Azure platform. This means that if there are any disruptions or outages on the Azure platform, it could impact your ability to access your secrets. Overall, using Azure Key Vault for storing data to power automate environment variables can deliver enhanced security, easy integration, and centralized management. However, it may also require some learning and permissions management and has some API limitations and dependencies on Azure. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.